Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and a lot of you have been asking me a little more about uh, the um, Android subsystem for Windows and of course running the Amazon App Store. Um, and of course a lot of questions about the fact that can you run the Google Play Store or stuff like that. So here's the thing. The Android subsystem for Linux is an Android version. So technically it runs whatever you want it to run. But Microsoft has actually closed down the system to just run the Amazon App Store and does not plan to have any uh, access to the Google Play Store. Now, that said, yes, you can run the Google Play Store and sideload apps. Um, I know I've got a lot of requests of people saying, can you show us how to do this? And um, the reason I'm hesitating hesitating to actually do it is mostly because side loading of apps is a danger and um, if you don't know where you're getting your apps and if you don't know how to to you know uh, get those safely um, it it is a risk to get your computer um, infected by malware and so that's where I'm not sure exactly should I do a video to show you guys how to do it or not but yes, the simple answer is if you do want a Google Play Store, it's possible to do so. There are instructions out there that tell you and show you how to do it. Now, also, this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the future of the Android subsystem for, um, uh, for Windows. And um, basically, the version of Android that will be uh, coming soon or eventually to the subsystem is Android 13. And Microsoft plans to actually add a lot of features, including ways to share files and do networking and all sorts of um, more fancy and advanced features. So this is going to be interesting. And as we go and move ahead in the Android subsystem, hopefully we'll have more countries also. One of the things I'm scared is the, I call it the Cortana effect, where Cortana was supposed to be eventually available everywhere. And they just cut it short to, you know, a certain amount of countries, and they never went forward for more than that. And so uh, the same thing, I'm a little scared of the same thing with the Android uh, subsystem, that they um, are, you know, moving into this, but they're uh, going to, you know, stop at a certain moment. And whoever has it, you have it, and if you can't, you can't. There are ways, by the way, guys, to have it if you do want to really test this in a country that it's not available, you can actually uh, pretend just put your computer into, you know, I'm in the US and all of that. It immediately will give you access to the download of the Android subsystem and the Amazon App Store. The only thing you'll have to open a Amazon account on the US Amazon site in order for this to work. So that's all. But you'll be able, you know, technically by doing that trick, you're able to run the uh, Amazon App Store and the Android subsystem uh, pretty much in any country around the world. So uh, you can kind of trick the system in thinking, having it think thing that uh, you're in the United States, basically. So there is a way to, to do this, and you can actually um, have apps from you know, Amazon.com uh, if you open a free account there. So uh, these are the little news that I have. Uh, honestly, um, by the, the way that it is with the Amazon App Store, I can't say that it's extremely interesting. It's, you know, a handful of games and stuff that, that that's it. And I, I don't find this to be that interesting because the Amazon App Store is too limited in the number of apps. It doesn't have all the cool things that you can have from the Google Play Store. And that is definitely something that bogs me down a little bit on, on the um, Android subsystem for Linux. Apps are also a little sluggish and a little, sometimes you'll have weird uh, things happening. So, um, you know, be, be aware of that. And um, also the way that the layout is done. Um, I'm, you know, I'm not sure this is that great of, an, of, of a feature, basically. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.